And I grew up in Long Beach, California. I live in Los Angeles and New York. I go back and forth, but um, I like the seasons. And um, what else? Cameron Diaz is an American model, actress, author, voice actor, and producer who made her film debut by appearing in the comedy film The Mask, which was released in 1994. Cameron has won several awards during her successful career, including two EDA Special Mention Awards, two Alma Awards, an American Comedy Award, four Blockbuster Entertainment Awards, and three MTV Movie Awards. The actress has also been nominated for four Golden Globe Awards, a New York Film Critics Award, and three Screen Actor Guild Awards. She started modeling while she was still in high school and ultimately became one of the highest paid and most successful actresses in the world. Back in 2011, this beautiful actress was ranked number four in Maxim's list of hot 100 women. When people say, oh, I want to be like you, I want to be an actor, I want to look like you, the question I always ask them is why? Like, really, why? If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. Her full name is Cameron Michelle Diaz, but is also known as Cammy. She was born on August 30th, 1972 in San Diego, California, making her 48 at the time of this production. She stands at 1.74 meters or five feet, eight and a half inches tall. She's an environmental activist, and she was among the early adopters of the Toyota Prius Hybrid. She's worked to raise awareness about climate change, and the actress has been working to promote Al Gore's Live Earth campaign. She's also an advocate for military families, and Cameron is involved with Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America organizations, which work for veterans of the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. In 2011, she revealed in an interview that she went to the same high school as Snoop Dogg. Furthermore, she even admitted she once purchased weed from Dog. Cameron's an avid surfer, and the actress also broke her nose in a surfing accident. She also loves skydiving and snowboarding, and her favorite color is blue. Her favorite food include avocado salad, steak Cuban style, and pasta, while her favorite perfume is Clinique Happy. The star sign of Diaz is Virgo, and her eye color is blue. Did you know that she took her first acting class after she landed her acting role in The Mask? Currently, she's married to Benji Madden, and they have a daughter who was born December 30th, 2019, but the actress has also dated many famous individuals before she met Madden in 2010. Back in 1990, she met Carlos De La Torre, who's a video producer. They dated for four years before Cameron broke up with him in 1994. During the second half of 1995, Cameron was spotted dating Matt Dillon, but their relationship got a lot of publicity. The relationship ended within three years and the couple separated in 1998. Then in 2010, the actress dated Alex Rodriguez, the New York Yankee baseball star, they separated in September 2011. Then in 2015, she married Benji Madden, the founder of Good Charlotte. Nicole Richie introduced Diaz to Madden in 2014, and Richie married Madden's brother back in 2010. And people, and especially America, this idea of fame, that to be famous means that you're successful, that you've, you're happy. It's not about, I, I don't do what I do because I want to be famous. She was born in San Diego and was the second child of Billy Joan and Emilio Diaz. Billy was an import-export agent while Diaz worked at an oil company. She attended Los Cerritos Elementary School and Long Beach Polytechnic High School and began modeling when she was 16. She was classmates with Snoop Dogg at Long Beach Poly and the actress recalls her upbringing as frugal. She's also said that her parents were amazing and her family was happy. The family would even collect cans to turn in for extra cash. Diaz has said that $20 meant something to them at that time. Cameron started her career by working as a model. When she was 16 years old, Diaz signed with Elite Model Management and worked as a model for five years. During these five years, Cameron landed several high-profile fashion campaigns 
and worked as a model for Levi's and Calvin Klein. Before Diaz made her appearance in Hollywood at the age of 21, the actress starred in a 30-minute soft adult movie called She's No Angel when she was 19. In 1994, she starred in The Mask, which was a huge success, and the actress was even nominated for a Golden Globe Award for her performance in this film. During the next five years, she appeared in several successful movies, including The Last Supper, She's the One, My Best Friend's Wedding, A Life Less Ordinary, Very Bad Things, and Charlie's Angels. The actress quickly became popular in the world. In 2009, she received her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Then in 2014, she retired from acting. I am not, when I'm home, I am not, and I'm with my family and my friends, I am not famous. I am me, and I'm Cameron, and that doesn't, fame does not define me. The actress rose to fame after appearing in The Mask, and she's become one of the highest paid celebrities in the world. She appeared in the comedy movie There's Something About Mary, which grossed more than $369 million globally. She was also featured in Charlie's Angels, which grosses $264 million globally. Cameron earned $2 million for her role in There's Something About Mary. It's estimated that she earned over $160 million from base film salaries during 1998 and 2011. She's also a model. Cameron's modeled for several designers, including Calvin Klein. And back in 2000, she became the voice of Fiona in the film Shrek and earned $10 million. Let me also tell you she made $3 million for working in the first Shrek movie. Furthermore, she was paid $20 million for appearing in Gangs of New York, and the actress earned nearly $50 million from films alone between July 2007 and June 2008. Then in 2008, the actress was listed among the top 100 wealthiest celebrities in the U.S. In 2011, she appeared in the film Bad Teacher, for which she earned $42 million. Currently, Cameron is the fifth highest grossing actress in the United States, and the minimum salary for a starring role for this actress is $10 million. Cameron made $17.5 million by working in Gangs of New York. The total net worth of Cameron Diaz is $140 million. Being one of the highest paid actresses in the world, Cameron Diaz owns several impressive properties across the United States. Back in 2001, the actress purchased a house above the Sunset Strip in Los Angeles, which she still owns. She purchased this home for $1.34 million. However, the primary residence of this famous actress is her Beverly Hills compound. She purchased this house from Candace Bergen back in 2010 for $9.5 million. The massive house covers an area of around three acres and features a tennis court, three bedroom guest house, swimming pool, six full bathrooms, and a half bathroom. She also owns and has owned a house in New York. Back in 2015, the actress sold her house in Greenwich Village for $4 million after owning the house for several years. She still has a beautiful home in the Chelsea neighborhood in New York, which she purchased for $9.3 million back in 2013. In 2017, Cameron and Benji Madden purchased a house in the Studio City neighborhood in Los Angeles. They purchased this new house together for $2.2 million, which covers an area of 2,483 square feet. Cameron Diaz owns the following cars, a black Tesla Model S, a Toyota Prius Hybrid, a Tesla Roadster, a Maserati Quattroporte.